Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Following the recent emergence of a new COVID-19 cluster linked to visitors to nightclubs in the Itaewon area of Seoul, Gyeonggi Province introduced a new policy that enables anyone to be tested during a one-week period without having to reveal details about their movements or activities. Making this announcement during a press conference on May 10th, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung added that he has also issued a two-week ban on gatherings at all entertainment facilities in the province, including clubs and bars. Uh, According to this ban, gatherings at all entertainment businesses, regardless of their types, are prohibited. Patrons and business owners found in violation will be subject to fines of up to 3 million Korean won. In addition, individuals who go to clubs or other sites that have been visited by COVID-19 carriers are also prohibited from contacting other persons for two weeks from the date of such visits. Violators will be subject to imprisonment of up to two years or a fine of up to 20 million Korean won. For a period of one week, individuals will be allowed to take COVID-19 tests without having to reveal the details of their visits. This is to encourage members of sexual minorities to undertake testing without fear of repercussions. After the announcement, Governor Lee offered assurances that the province is doing its utmost to prevent the spread of COVID-19 through investigations of individuals and facilities at risk as well as through extensive sterilization efforts. Governor Lee asked residents to observe related personal guidelines and to cooperate with provincial measures. In Gyeonggi Province, the number of consumers using the local currency they received through disaster-related basic income payments has increased significantly, helping small businesses recover from COVID-19 inflicted difficulties. For the past three months, business at flower shops has been severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, since mid-April, this flower shop in Hwasong City has been seeing spending by customers with local currency gradually increase. 저희 매장 기준으로 보면 50%가 지금 지역 화폐로 결제를 하시고 계세요. 엄청 많이 됐다고 먼저 말씀드리고요. 어, 정말 코로나 19로 인해서 위축되고 있던 경기가 정말 그 피가 필요한 환자에게 수혈을 해주는 거라고 할까? 화성시에서 그 지역 화폐 이벤트로 해가지고 20만 원 충전하면 10만 원 이렇게 이벤트로 주는 게 있었어요. 그것도 충전을 했고 그리고 재난 기본 소득 Signs of economic recovery are also visible at traditional markets. There are a lot of shoppers even though it's daytime on a weekday. Putting the days of losses during the COVID-19 pandemic behind them, merchants are smiling again as customers return. With the number of local currency users increasing, more and more shops are offering 5% discounts on payments made with local currency. Since many shoppers ask, and to prevent them from leaving if uncertain about the acceptability of local currency, some shops display advertising that they created themselves. Empathizing with the concept of local currency, consumers are seeking traditional markets. 
네, 오게 되었습니다. 카드 쓰려고요. 근데 막상 이제 받고 나니까 저희 생활에 이렇게 실제적으로 도움이 되고. There are numerous online comments about local currency and disaster-related basic income being helpful for both users and merchants. This response measure is helping the economy recover from the impact of COVID-19. On May 8th, the second Kyungi Province Independent Baseball League opened. During the five-month league season, a total of 120 matches will be played by five independent baseball teams. The opening game took place at the Team Up campus in Gwangju City. More than 130 players will participate in this league in five teams, including the Yeongchang Miracle, the Goyang Winners and the Paju Challengers, as well as the newly founded Sungnam Magpies and Yonging Badahyung. During the league season, which will run for five months until October, team rankings will be decided through 115 games with each team playing 46 matches. The league championship will be decided through five final matches. This independent baseball league, the first of its kind in Korea, was organized by Gyeonggi Province last year to help aspiring pro baseball players join professional teams. Participating teams are provided with operational support as well as opportunities to participate in exchange games with independent domestic and overseas teams as well as in test matches for pro team scouting. Last year, among the players who participated in the Gyeonggi Province Independent Baseball League, five realized their dream of joining pro baseball teams. In Gyeonggi Province, a large number of individuals who have misused river or mountain stream areas were apprehended. This included those who constructed structures in these areas without permission or who failed to comply with restoration orders. These commercial riverside bungalows in Gapyeong County were constructed without local government permission. Upon hearing this official's explanation, the occupier responds audaciously. He even tears up the official notification. During recent investigations of illegal occupation of river areas in Gapyeong County, the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police uncovered violations at 16 locations. Of these, 15 cases pertain to the use of river areas without permission. There was also a case of restoration orders being ignored past the deadline. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police sent all apprehended violators to prosecution and referred to local government authorities for the restoration of locations to their original states. 평상이라든가 그 가림막 같은 것을 설치해 놓고 이동식으로 간헐적으로 이렇게 위법 행위가 있을 것 같아서 2월 중에 경기도 내 모든 지방 하천을 대상으로 해서 집중적으로 수사할 계획입니다. During the investigations, the judicial police advised illegal facility operators at 32 locations to voluntarily remove facilities. Of these, 25 have been removed as directed. Gyeonggi Province opened a garden park known as the Gyeonggi Resting Garden in Yongin City on provincially owned land plots that had been used by residents without permission. In this vibrant garden of flowers and trees, some passing residents are resting while others exercise. This is the first Gyeonggi Resting Garden opened by the province using a collection of provincially owned land plots. 
These land plots have been troublesome since their locations were scattered and therefore hard to manage. However, they have been transformed into an attractive garden in a change welcomed by local residents. 자기 소유가 아닌 것을 갖다가 어또 본인들이 무단으로 경쟁을 하면서 어 그런 행위를 하는 게 일단은 눈살을 찌푸리는데 경기도 신공원이 조성됐기 때문에 어 이런 꽃이라든지 아니면은 나무 어 정원이 조성되어서 경기 province allocated 320 million Korean won to develop this garden on a total area of more than 3000 square meters. Gyeonggi Province developed this garden so as to prevent the illegal use of provincially owned land plots, while also providing local residents with a green space for rest and the enjoyment of nature. Gyeonggi Province will continue to develop publicly owned and idle land plots into community gardens through various garden development programs. Gyeonggi Province has been pursuing the restoration of river and mountain stream areas through the removal of illegal structures that had been occupying these areas. To date, 96% of these structures have been removed with rivers and mountain valleys restored for residents to enjoy. This mountain valley in Yongin City, which used to be covered with illegal structures, now features benches and pristine natural surroundings. This place had been marred by illegal businesses that charged visitors for access. Thanks to Kyunggi Province's Clean River and Mountain Stream Restoration Project, it has recovered its natural beauty. <laughs> In less than a year since the restoration project began, illegal structures at more than 1,300 locations in provincial river and mountain stream areas have been removed. Launched last June, the Clean River and Mountain Stream Restoration Project will be completed this July. For those who have been living in the removed illegal structures, Kyunggi Province plans to help with their relocation based on investigations of their violations and personal economic status. With public concern about food safety and livestock environments increasing, Gyeonggi Province's Happy Livestock Farm Certification System is drawing increased interest from farmers. This chicken farm raises more than 12,000 free-range chickens with an average area of 3.3 square meters per 20 chickens. In the chicken houses, chickens run freely and bathe in sand disinfected by sunlight. Raised this way, chickens develop stronger immunities and are less prone to diseases thereby negating the need for pesticides. 흙목욕을 한다든지 아니면 정말 횟대 올라간다든지 마음껏 돌아다닌다든지 햇빛을 본다든지 닭들한테는 훨씬 좋을 것 같고 그 닭들이 주는 어 달걀은 유정나는 음 거짓말하지 않는다라고 생각이 드는 것 같아요. Gyeonggi Happy Livestock Farm Certification is granted to farms that ensure good animal welfare and maintain good livestock environments. This certification system, the first of its kind in Korea, was introduced by Gyeonggi Province in 2017 through the enactment of a related ordinance. Certification is granted to cattle, pig and chicken farms based on site evaluations and advisory committee deliberations. Certified farms are provided with multifaceted support, including assistance with school meal supplier participation, facility improvement, and disease control. This year, 161 farms applied for certification that is available to 40 farms, indicating the high interest in the certification system. 경기도에서 조례 개정을 통해서 이번에 그 인증 받은 농가에 대해서는 단체 급식이라든지 판로 개척 이런 데좀 많이 힘을 실어 주고자 노력하고 있습니다. As of the end of 2019, a total of 89 livestock farms have received 
Happy Livestock Farm certification and are producing certified, safe livestock products. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.